are some things that, that hit you kind of on a gut level that you, th you understand without understanding, without reading something in a book. And I, I think you almost absorb this kind of piece. It draws you in. Uh, and, and you actually start to feel from the inside out. Uh, that, that's how I felt. About it. Hey, come and down and see this yeah. thing. What, what would you say? I, I would say it, it's something. It's something different. It's something that. that uh, it's something in, in tune with with how life is. It's a, it's it's something you know without knowing. Uh, it's not something you're gonna, you're going to walk in and, and take notes from and say, well, this is how this was done. This is how this was done. It's something I think you absorb. Uh, it, it's, you, you would almost you almost appreciate this piece through osmosis rather than rather than uh, a critical uh, um, definition. Did you feel when you first saw it tonight? First feeling? Uh, there's that initial shock of sort of walking into this corridor that I'm used to walking through on my way to work, and it being sort of dark and empty, and then seeing all this light and, and hearing the sounds. So it was kind of a shocked feeling at first. You know, you walk through Strawberry Way, and everybody knows to sort of get through it, and it's dark. But this enlivens a space in the city in a way that we're not used to. And it just, it makes you pause, gives you pause for a moment, and it's uh, kind of wonderful, beautiful. When you walk through the tunnel, it's, it's grimy, and you're right in the middle of an urban, kind of a dirty setting, and you walk in, and it's, it, uh, the, the assault, it's like an assault on the senses. It kind of overwhelms you, as Lillian said, uh, uh, both visually, uh, orally, with music. You really do forget where you are, and you forget how cold you were and how miserable you were before you walked in there. It was really, it was, it was a great experience. The screens are all the same, and it's sort of earth and land and, and that kind of you know, greenery and things like that. And um, the music is sort of organic but man-made. And um, then it splits, and each of the sets of screens um, becomes independent. And so the, and the farthest are, as I said, sort of air oriented and the middle one is fire and the one on this end is water and it has the swimmers and the whales and things. I, I must admit that I cheated a little bit because I knew a little bit about it that it had to do with, with uh, breathing and fire and stuff so I was sort of on the lookout for things like that but uh, I enjoyed the, the different the, the way the different physical shapes were um, were used uh, the, the suggestion of uh, the human back being like the butterfly and then the shapes of the butterfly being reflected in the clouds next to it. The swimmer and the dolphin being juxtaposed I liked, both being underwater motions. And then the, uh, I guess the woman doing yoga or something like that. Um, and that one, that one was a little bit more symbolic. At first I thought there was sort of a, a Middle Eastern thing going on there because she appeared to be wearing a turban and there was sort of a sickle, like a sickle moon. Uh, on the one next to it, but then I saw the fire in the background, and and her breathing was sort of suggested about things. I'm not really sure what they are. The sort of things you, you can't quite verbalize maybe at first, but they stick with you a little bit. I didn't get that the whole thing was Earth <laughs> until like I really stood back from it and looked at it. I'm like, I don't get why. Oh, you know. And then it made sense. It really you had to really see it. You had to see it like individually and then see it as a whole and kind of step back before I think you really understood it. Initially, how did the atmosphere of the urban aquarium make you feel? Were you warm, cold, excited, relaxed? When I first went in, it was playing the water segment and uh, it, it made me feel relaxed. It, it, it felt very, uh, it, was, it was reverberating throughout my body. The, the sound, I thought, was excellent. Uh, Yeah, the breathing was, was sort of a. It was like a subtext. It was like it was like a, like a, like a bass drum or a bass. It's like lo, low frequencies, you know, are are ones that you almost feel as much as you, as you hear. So you know that that was that was way down below in the. In the context of all the sound. What do you think? Oh, um, the sound. The sound was uh, pretty great. I kind of like the sound on um, the yoga piece. The yoga piece, it made me almost want to feel like I was waiting for chanting or something to happen. Like there was, uh, it was almost um, eliciting something. And how did the sound correlate with that? 
how did the sound correlate with it? Uh, the breath, breath of fire, I think is what she was doing. Uh, birthing something, birthing spirit, maybe. I didn't get that from the from the fire piece. I didn't I didn't think it was cozy. I, I thought it was uh, exciting. I thought it was energy, uh, raw energy. Um, I, I didn't I didn't expect this to be a, a soothing, meditative, new age type of experience. I, I expected something that was going to uh, be vibrant and, and really alive. And, and that's and, uh, and I, I think about a video exhibit like this. Is it something you look at or is it something you interact with? How do you interact with? You interact with? How come? Because um, you're not just looking at it, you're like um, paying attention to all the details and the music and the people and stuff. I guess there was a lot of interaction because a lot of us were stopping and talking about it. Yeah, even some people that, you know, other strangers. Um, and I think people enjoy it. I think people, when they go in, they do have an instant reaction. I heard one young woman go in and said, I felt like I was just born again or something. You know, she went, she went in and I guess the, the water and the sound suddenly hit her that way. So uh, anything like that that gives people an experience or gives them kind of charge, I think is beneficial to the community. I'm not sure magic's the right word for me. It's more, I, I have more wonder about it. You know, I don't fully understand it. I wouldn't claim to. Hmm, I don't know if I would say magical. Um, if you define magical as something otherworldly, um, no, I don't think it's magical. I, I think it's inherently uh, earthy. I, I think it's. An, I think it, it really. Um, it, it's. A, uh, it really depicts a, a type of life that we that you take for granted. That it's part of uh, part of the uh, uh, atmosphere, part of the world we live in. Yeah.